Hello. Today is another day. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am here today. I'm just going to give a few more minutes. See if people are going to come and join. A few more minutes. Come and join me today. Hello. Today, I'm going to be talking about some steps. If you want to have a successful relationship in 2018. So, let me give people a few minutes, see if anybody's going to join me today. Feel free to share this video, free, free, feel free to tag somebody, just feel free, comment, say if it's helping you or if you're learning anything, you're free to comment on the video, you're free to share the video, you're free to invite somebody to come watch. If you think it's going to benefit anybody, share it. Save somebody life, don't just keep it to yourself. If you um, learn something from it or it's benefit um, you in any way share it to somebody that you think might also benefit from this okay because this is important and a lot of people today were lacking these this principle in our relationship nobody's using this principle in our relationship now so learn text somebody share it with somebody that will help so and I'm gonna start so uh, we all have problems with our relationship. I know I had problem with my relationship. I'm not saying that I am perfect in my relationship. I was perfect in my relationship. No, I needed to learn and we all need to learn. And all of us struggle with our relationship. We struggle to maintain our relationship. Um, things don't go the way we are. We struggle in our relationship with our friends. We struggle in a relationship, um, with our husband, wife, and we struggle. The relationship is struggle. But we have to have this principle in order for us to have a successful relationship. If you don't have and you don't follow this principle, your relationship will always suffer. You will always have problem in your relationship. So if you bear with me, I will share these principles with you and i guarantee you if you use this principle in every relationship that you have that will be successful it will it will be good but if you don't use this principle you will always lack and you always um, struggle you will always have difficulty in your relationship like some of these uh, i use it in my in my previous relationship but it's very hard if you are using the principle in your relationship and the other party is not using that 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 principle in in your relationship then it's not balanced it's 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 gonna be awkward not only you both of you both of the party have to use this uh, principle and if both of you use this principle guarantee your relationship will be successful you have no problem if you use this if you use this principle because in everything we do we supposed to use principle there is principle if you if you don't use the principle that you're supposed to use in anything in life you always be a fault you always uh, um, suffer the, the the penalty of not using those principles so for relationship I have seven that I'm gonna be sharing with you that I learned from my mentor uh, Sunday Adelaide okay so number one principle that you need to do in, for your relationship to become successful things you need to do you have to have um, good communication Communication is a big key in a relationship. If there is no communication in your relationship, the, the, the relationship suffer. Unfortunately, not every relationship have a good communication and they think that it, it doesn't matter. 
cause it matter in a good if you want your relationship to be good and successful there has to be a good communication there has to be a communication uh, between the two party you guys have to share you guys have to talk about things but some people usually take it the wrong way oh um, some people are just bossy they just want to know about you no it's a communication you you guys have to talk if you don't talk how are you guys gonna see things uh, and together how are you guys gonna do things together if you are not having a communication it's a big key in a relationship communication you have to communicate you have to tell your partner what's going on you have to ask question in every thing you question not question in a way to be controlling or anything but question in a way of showing that you're interested you are you um you are uh, interested in the relationship and you want to know about the person you want to learn you want to know about the relationship but if you don't question and you don't ask question in your relationship how can you have a good communication you will lack it's not only one way you have to communicate both ways you have to tell whatever you're doing tell her hey have a conversation with your partner say hey this is what i'm thinking what do you think about it and well, do you think it's a good idea you guys talk about it and find the best solution in 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 whatever it is in the relationship you guys have to develop that communication you have to listen to each other you can't only be the one person listening all the time both of you have to listen to each other and then once you listen to each other you have to analyze you have to think critically and say you know what um you got to think critically in, in in the relationship and then and then when you analyze um the the situation and then you guys pick the best option that is going to benefit both of you not only one person it then if it's only going to benefit one person that's being selfish and it is not good in a relationship so think about it communicate with each other and then after you do the communication analyze all the the results that you have and pick the best option that is going to benefit both of you not only one person okay moving forward the second um um, principle you have to uh, follow in your relationship to become successful um, the second is uh, agreement uh, you communicate first and then you have to agree you can't one person can't just agree both of you have to because that's what I just said earlier you have to analyze the situation you have to critical think this situation and um, and the, the 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 answer or the result that you come to has to be um, agreeable between both of you. Both of you have to agree in every decision that you make. One person can't just agree in the in the relationship, and the other person doesn't agree. Then you know what you're gonna have problem in your relationship if it's only you that is making the decision. It's only you calling the shots. It's only you. Uh, um, doing everything no both of you you have to agree there has to be an agreement in in a relationship if there is no agreement in a relationship that that relationship is going to crumble that that relationship is going to suffer and you don't want your relationship to suffer but these are the steps you're supposed to use before when you get into a relationship if you the partner is not fulfilling these uh, this this principle you better don't get too deep in that relationship because if you do get deep in that relationship, it that there, there comes a divorce, there comes separation, there comes fighting, there comes a lot of things. So you have to agree in every decision that you make. Both of you have to agree and come to conclusion and agree on it. If you don't agree on the thing, you guys will suffer in that relationship. So always agree with your partner what is the truth you have to agree on the truth the basic truth and because you agree on the truth because the truth will never change the truth will never get old the truth is truth and it's um absolute it's it's uh, it's the standard so based on agree when you're agreeing with your partner in anything based on the truth and the absolute truth in that relationship if you don't agree in the the truth of the relationship guess what your relationship is going to crumble so the first thing 
communication in your relationship. The second thing, you have to agree in, a, in, in any decision you make. Both of you have to agree in the relationship. So um, uh, moving on forward, the third thing you have to do in a relationship in order for your relationship to be successful, you have to exchange. The other thing is exchange, okay? In exchange, what do I mean by exchange? What do I mean by exchange? Exchange is like you bring it something, I'm bringing something. There has to be exchange in the relationship. If there is no exchange in the relationship, the relationship suffer because it's only one person that is bringing into the relationship. It's only the one person is doing the relationship favor. It's only one person. It, it, it's frustrating that it's only one person doing, but if both of you are doing equal share and you're exchanging ideas, you're exchanging, uh, um, chores at home you're exchanging how to take care of stuff you have to exchange something you can't just keep everything to yourself or one person only one person no it's not gonna work the relationship is gonna crumble because that one person is gonna be exhausted is gonna be it's gonna be hard on that person because that's the only one person is just trying her best and then the other person is not doing anything it is not fair in a relationship if it's only the one person that is doing all everything and and the other person is not doing anything in the relationship if you are in a relationship and you're not married or anything and you see that this person that is lacking these things like not communicating with you not agreeing with you in, in situation or not exchanging with you I'm telling you you should run because if you get too deep in that relationship that relationship is not gonna last anyway if those basic principles are not in the relationship so um, let me just say so um, exchange is the oil I'm gonna talk on this point I have it on down here exchange is like the oil in the relationship the oil that's flowing like keeping everything smooth because it, it, it's just like a car when you have a car you need a gasoline in order for it to run but if you're in a relationship and you're not exchanging and you're not doing something and the relationship is not flowing the way you're not putting something value or things in the relationship guess what it's not going to run smoothly because there's no oil there is nothing that's smoothing the relationship so exchange is another big key you have to exchange, as I said earlier, you have to exchange ideas, you have to exchange wisdom, you have to exchange um, knowledge, you have to exchange gifts, you have to exchange the love. Like, it's not only one person that's supposed to love, the love has to flow, exchange of love, that you have to need that person in your life. But if you, it's only for selfish reason, then it's not gonna work because it's only you that is benefiting the relationship and the other person is not benefiting the relationship, then that's not a relationship because both of you have to benefit in the relationship. Both of you have to enjoy the relationship. Both of you have to love to be in the company with in, in each other. But if you don't love to be in the company of each other, guess what? It's not going to work because those are the basic principles of a successful relationship and if you're not doing it you're lacking then the relationship will not last so exchange is another big key if there is no exchange in your relationship somebody is being cheated okay because the other person is basically cheating on you because there's no exchange it's only one person giving and the other one is not receiving it's a vice versa you give exchange exchange ideas exchange feelings exchange uh, um, education wisdom all the things you guys have to exchange you have to bring your own in and, and then you sit and analyze and pick the best option always pick the best option that is going to benefit both parties not only one person that's going to benefit it but both of you and number four thing that you need to do to be in, in your relationship in order for it to be successful you must try to maintain growth that is another big key okay growth in your relationship 
don't let your relationship uh, be the same all the time if you're in a relationship and the relationship is not growing there is a problem you have to grow in your relationship it's it's just like your body like we grow so everything you do with have to grow like even in your finances you have to grow if you don't grow in your finances it's gonna die like in your health you have to keep your health going if you don't keep your health going guess what you die it's anything it's just a basic principle in every aspect in your life there must be a growth if there is no growth it dies so it's just like a relationship if there is no growth in your relationship the relationship dies so don't don't accept your relationship to die make it grow don't make it uh, just stay the same uh, just like a stagnation like stagnation that is just like there you can go up it's when you when you stagnate your relationship you go backwards and you don't want to go backwards in your relationship you want to go forward you want to build it up you want to get to a place but if you just stop there then the relationship start going backwards and you don't want to do that when you when you just stop in in your relationship and you just accept it just the way it is and you don't want it to grow it's not good because that's where divorce comes that's where separation comes that's where a lot of things comes there is no more feelings and then cheating starts coming because they're not your partner is not receiving anything from you anymore because it's just the same old thing old thing but if you build your relationship and you start it grow all the time and it's growing all the time your relationship has to grow when your relationship go you have to look for new things that you have to do in your relationship to keep it going you need to bring light into the relationship when you don't bring the lights you don't bring spark in the relationship it dies you have to always educate yourself if you don't know educate it's like okay what can what new can, what new thing can I bring into my relationship you look in the internet, there is so much things, but you have to keep your partner uh, um, energetic. You have to keep your partner wanting more. When you stop doing that, your relationship that so always try to keep your partner once more oh and like get your partner in the state that oh my god what am i gonna expect today like that keeps the relationship going because it keeps you having more feelings it keeps you um wanting more but when you stop doing all those things it dies the partner doesn't want anything then you start going the partner start looking somewhere else but when you are doing all the things that you need to do in your relationship guess what your partner will never look anywhere else because he always wants and he is always looking forward to you to to do exciting things okay so that's the number fourth thing that you have to do so growth you have to make your relationship good if you don't grow your relationship eventually will die you don't want to do that like hi for me in my relationship i always try to make it go i always bring something in the relationship but sometimes it gets so frustrating that it's only one person that is doing all the work it is not supposed to be like that in a relationship it's not only the one person that's supposed to do all the work both of you have to do the work you have to do something interesting i have to do it something interesting but if it's only one person doing the work guess what the person get frustrated and tired and fed up and then the relationship die and because there's no spark anymore in the relationship so learn how to make your relationship grow daily daily try to do something both of you the man and the woman both of you in it, it, it comes with every other relationship not only man and woman but it, with your friends like do something so the fifth thing that you need to do for your relationship to become successful in 2018. Learn not to quit too early. Be patient a little bit. I know sometimes it's hard. Uh, as I said earlier, if the both party are not doing what they're supposed to do, the one person suffered and the other person benefits, but it's not supposed to be like that. Both of you have to benefit in a relationship. That's why people quit. Don't quit your relationship too fast. 
um, we always quit in our relationship. Like for me, I'm just gonna go a little bit personal. I'm gonna be vulnerable here. Like for me in my relationship, uh, I was married, okay? And I was doing everything in the relationship just to keep the relationship going. But the other partner doesn't want to do anything about the relationship. He just wants me to do all the work. And you get to the point that you get so frustrated because there is no communication in the relationship. You don't, guys don't communicate and there's no agreeable things in the relationship and there's no exchange in the relationship. Like when those things don't happen in a relationship, it's only one person that is doing it. That's when sometimes people quit their relationship. I get it. If those things are not happening, it's better for you to quit. But if those things are happening, then you have to be patient. When there is growth in the relationship, um, be patient. Don't quit easily in your relationship. Uh, uh, only uh, quitters are losers and winners never quit. So if you want to win in life and you know there is some value in that relationship that but it you they it has to be a two-way thing like both of you have to want the relationship both of you have to work in the relationship so quitting is usually not good in a relationship quitting too easily too fast because things are not going your way like if things are not going your way try to do things a little bit different not everything has to go your way not everything is all about you it's about both of you both of you in the relationship but if both of you are not doing anything in the relationship only one person then the relationship suffer and then people quit in the relationship so i know relationships are really hard um it's very difficult not to quit in some relationship but i also want to point out thing okay sometimes in a relationship um people abuse you like you are not um you don't deserve your abuse in your relationship i know some people quit the relationship because of abuse okay in that case okay you can quit your relationship because you abuse because you don't deserve anything if you've tried everything in your power and to fix things to make things right in the relationship but it's the other party doesn't want to accept responsibility or does not want to work things out or to make things that is going to benefit you or then i get it when people quit but it's not always good to just quit very fast in a relationship because everything is not going your way so try to work things out with your your partner instead of quitting both of you have to come to a table and talk about it and find the best solution for your relationship the number six thing to have in a successful relationship you have to seek for balance as you've been listening to me um, balance is another key thing today people in a relationship don't seek balance as I've been saying previously there is always no balance in a relationship there has to be a balance in a relationship if there is only like this all the one person is just giving and you pulling down on the other person it's not fair that only one person is getting everything only one person is receiving everything and then the other person is suffering because now but when there's balance you guys exchange communications you guys agree on things you guys um have growth in your relationship and then there will be a balance if there is no balance in your relationship the relationship will suffer it always has to balance you always have to be uh, balanced in your relationship don't be selfish in your relationship seek for balance because balance is necessary in a relationship um, it's necessary to maintain a successful relationship if there is no balance the, unfortunately the, the, the relationship dies balance is not you uh, always thinking about yourself that you always want to win because in some relationship one person always wants to win one person always have to say 
have to have a say one person no it's not like that he doesn't have a relationship doesn't have to be like that that there's gonna be a winner and a loser no it's gonna be win-win you win I win you always have to be win-win situation if in a relationship there's no win-win situation it's only one person that is always winning it's not a healthy relationship that uh, that relationship will not last because that's only one person winning all the time the other person is losing it's not fair to the other person so they always have to be a win-win situation you win I win always find the best outcome that is going to benefit both of you not only one person because if the outcome in your discussion in outcome in your thing is only benefiting one person then it's not fair you're cheating on the other one and you're being selfish when you don't be selfish in your relationship always try to um, think about the other person okay think always about the other person say okay how can I what can I give to that person? What can I bring into that relationship? If you're not thinking like that, what can I bring into a relationship? Or what can I give into the relationship? It's like, what can you give me? It's only you. It's only you. No, no. It's not always about you. You always have to bring something in a relationship. Like for me, I always find, and sometimes people, I'm going to be vulnerable again. People think that I'm difficult or um, stubborn and stuff. But I always look at the relationship. Okay, what can you bring into the relationship? This is what I can bring to the relationship. What can you bring into the relationship? If you can't bring anything into the relationship, it's only me bringing something to the relationship, then there is no point being in that relationship because I'm the only one bringing and you're not bringing anything. Then I'm going to run dry. I'm going to be frustrated. I'm going to just be down. So no, don't be in that kind of relationship that you are the only one bringing into the relationship and the other one is not bringing anything to the relationship so in um in a in a relationship um when you start a new relationship you have to have a goal and objective in your relationship okay these you have to both of you have to bring your goal and your objective so okay we're gonna have this relationship what is your goal what is your objective about this relationship and both of you put it and then when you start like that everybody knows what they expecting from the relationship then the relationship will be successful because if the other person doesn't know and that other person doesn't know then the relationship suffer because nobody knows what they want from the relationship or what are they gonna gain from the relationship because in any relationship there has to be you always have to bring something to the plate it's not only one person that's supposed to be if that only one person doing all the work the relationship suffer unfortunately so the final thing I'm gonna be talking about today um, how to become uh, what you need to do to become successful uh, in your relationship some principle to become successful in your relationship uh, sometimes pe uh, some people go in the relationship to gain something if you are going to the relationship only to gain something it's really bad don't only go to the relationship to gain something from the person. You have to bring something to the plate. Both of you have to bring something in the relationship. As I said previously, if you are not bringing anything to the relationship, it's only um, what you're going to receive, what you're going to gain from the relationship. So, okay, if I date this person, this is what I'm, this is what I'm going to gain. Like some women, they like money. Some men the same thing nowadays men like money it's like oh if I date this woman oh my god she got money she have a nice house she have a nice car oh my god she's so beautiful and all the thing that is the wrong idea you're going in the relationship you're not supposed to go in the relationship based on material thing is what you can give to that person what can I give to that person in that relationship how can I make that person grow how can I encourage that person how can I add value to that person's life if you are in a relationship and you're not adding value into the person's life you know um, bringing something to the table in the relationship I am please begging you 
don't waste the person time don't waste your time don't waste it because in every relationship you have to add value to your relationship you have to bring something to the plate if it's only one person that's bringing something to the plate that relationship eventually will suffer and die so um if you want to get married ask yourself what is the value that you are bringing to the relationship what are the value you are adding to that person if you don't have any value to add to that person don't waste that person life or time let go of the person let the person move on with their life because that's a waste of time if you're not bringing any value to the person life and you're not adding anything in the person life why are you in the relationship with that person don't be in a relationship with somebody that you're not going to bring value to their life and you're not going to bring anything to the table. You're only seeking from the person. You just want something from that person. It is not. Whether it's sex that you want from the person, whether it's financial you want for that person, that's wrong. No, you're supposed to bring something that's going to benefit the other person. It's not only your gain, but both of you have to gain something in the relationship. If only one person is gaining something from the relationship the other person suffer it is not fair so if you are going in a relationship just because of your own gain don't waste that person time don't waste their life go find somebody else because when you be in a relationship because when because when that thing ends then you're not gonna love that person because you love that person for material things you love that person for that thing when that person that thing is dead or when that thing is gone the love done that's not fair in a relationship that's why there is so much divorce that's why there is so much suppression because everybody go in the real in a relationship to for their own gain and it's not supposed to be there a true relationship a true love you're supposed to go in that relationship to to benefit that person to um, add value to that person to to help that person grow you guys supposed to be in a in a relationship that both of you gonna benefit not only one person if you go in a relationship that's only you gonna benefit you're gonna waste your time and that relationship will end uh, eventually so don't do that to yourself so nobody likes to be used and then i see so many relationships now people use each other and it's not fair that you use people for your own gain it's not fair like it's gonna come back to you eventually if you're using people for your own gain guess what the time that you really want a relationship it's not gonna be there for you because you're already you're using people don't go in a relationship to use people it's not a right thing to do go there because you truly love that person and you want to add value to that person life so please don't use people in your life don't use people in your relationship don't use them for your own selfish gain. It is wrong. It is absolutely a no-no. Don't do that. It is not right because you are, you are, you are um, hurting that other person. You are destroying that other person because if you're only going in that relationship for your own selfish gain, and maybe somebody else that really, really want that person for really to add value in their life and make them better, but then you are wasting that person time because you want your own selfish interest to be met you being selfish it is not right to play games on people and treat people uh, like that so learn to appreciate each other in a relationship when you appreciate it when you appreciate each other in a relationship there will be value in the relationship there will be a success in the relationship so whenever you are uh, in that relationship please Bring value into the relationship think about the other person not only by yourself say hey what can I do to to better your life what can I do like some men they take so much uh, advantage it's vice versa it can be either way woman or man they can take advantage of, uh, of their partner and it hurts me so much it hurts me that people can think like that people can behave like that it's like when life is so sweet life is so good but people make it so complicated and life is not that complicated I 
it, it is not like people for people we do make life complicated for ourselves because we are not following the principle the basic principle because god gave us principle on earth and when you follow those principle you will benefit in life but when you stop following those principles that's why uh, relationships suffered like for me i've been in a relationship i'm going to be vulnerable again that i was the one that's suffering all the time in the relationship because i want to bring value into the person life i want to bring something better in the person life but the person never had any value they tried to bring me down they tried to crush me they name calling and abuse like sexually abuse you uh, financial abuse you because they always want something from you it's like okay i i was always lacking it's like what do i get it's all about you like what do I get? I'm not getting anything. I'm not benefiting anything. I want something too. I'm a human. I want to be loved. I want, I I want to feel like I'm valuable or I'm, I'm somebody. But I I I, I don't get that in my relationship sometimes, and it's it's frustrating. I get some people. I get it. Like I've been there in the relationship. But that's why when you start a real, new relationship, you have to make sure that all these things that you have a good communication with the part the person after you have a good communication um with the person you have to agree in things you have to um learn how to exchange things ideas you have to learn how to grow in your relationship and not to quit too fast in your relationship like if you see all these things are going then you think that that relationship is going to be successful so now i i like people's like why are you so lonely like i really will i love to be lonely because i don't want to be in a relationship when it's only me giving i'm not receiving no it has to this has to be an exchange in the relationship so i rather be alone and be happy than be in a relationship and be unhappy i will never accept that in my life and people think i'm difficult no i am not difficult I am not difficult. I am not stubborn. I know I'm not the way people class me. He said, no, a relationship has to be a flow. There has to be. But if it's only me that's saying yes, yes, and you never want to bring anything of value in my life, it's only me that's adding value to your life. I I get tired. I get you. You run dry in your relationship. You run dry and you don't want to be in that place because you just crumble. And what sometimes when people get like that they drop they can't get back up and it's not there has to be a balance there has to be a balance in the relationship when there is a balance in the relationship everybody win-win it's a win-win situation it's not a win and lose no if you're in a relationship where there is no win-win situation run for your life because eventually that relationship will crumble and it will end so don't use people in your relationship love people for real not for material things not for what you're gonna gain from those people but love them for real see the real deal about that person and bring something to the table not only the other person bringing something to the table but both of you bringing something to the table that is going to benefit both of you not only one person and if only one person is benefiting from the relationship i'm sorry that's where divorce happened that's where separation happens so i am going to stop there today i hopefully you guys learned something and i hopefully that you're going to use some of these principles i guarantee you if you use this principle there is no way you will have difficulty in, in your relationship because it's a basic principle use it and you will see uh you will reap the benefit from it but if you lack or your relationship lack those things eventually that relationship will come to an end i'm sorry to disappoint you but yeah you have to use this principle once you use this principle your relationship will be successful and there will be um no breakup there will be no headache there will not be because it's just gonna be love okay so i hopefully you enjoy this um time with me and i hope that you're gonna share you're gonna tag somebody that might need it um tag share and comment if you like it and everything i hope you guys have a wonderful saturday and i will be back tomorrow i don't know what i'm going to talk about but if you want to find out you will join me and
have a wonderful day i love you guys and take care of yourself don't use any people for your selfish game god bless you bye